I thought today I would do a little get ready with me while I kind of share about myself. My name is Emma. I am 23 years old and I am currently a full-time self-employed artist. The type of art that I do is mainly digital art illustrating and then I also occasionally do acrylic painting on a stretched canvas. I do not have any professional training when it comes to art. The only um, art classes I've taken over the years was an art class in sixth grade, an art class um, my junior year of high school, and then I took a like intro to art class in college as well as a painting class that was specifically in oil painting. I did go to college. I went to college for two and a half years. I did not graduate. Um, I ended up dropping out actually because I could no longer afford it. And then COVID happened and I decided to just not go back. Um, mostly because I did start kind of questioning what I wanted to do with my life and I wanted to do art and I was majoring in psychology. So I thought, I don't think I want to go back because I don't think I want to work in the psych field. The reason I decided to go into psychology in college was because um, I didn't think that getting an art degree was going to be a thing that I could use for some type of viable source of income. The other things that I wanted to do were like photography, writing, English, and I didn't think those could be a good career option either. I've heard that if you get like an English degree, a lot of times um, you become like an English teacher and I didn't want to be a teacher. So I thought psychology seemed like a good option and I do love psychology quite a bit, but I would rather be doing art. When I was a little kid in kindergarten, my dream job was to be a teacher, mostly because I was obsessed with my teacher. And that was before I knew that I had social anxiety and didn't even like children uh, because I myself was a child. In eighth grade, my dream job was to be an artist, an author, and a photographer. And I thought maybe I can do all three of these and make enough income for myself. By the way, I'm not an expert makeuper, so in middle school, that's when I realized I did not like children and did not want to be a teacher. And I really, really wanted to be an artist. When I was in kindergarten, I got a lot of comments on my artwork. I constantly wrote little stories and I would read them to the class. One of my stories was apparently so good that I had to actually go read it to one of the other kindergarten classes, which was terrifying. I guess that at a very young age, I was very good at drawing and writing and just having a pretty wild imagination in general. In sixth grade, I wrote a paper for one of my classes and then we had to give a speech based on that paper. So what I did was I basically just memorized the um, paper that I wrote and then quoted it in front of the class and my teacher actually ended up emailing my mom and told her that it was one of the best speeches that she had ever heard and that I had a natural knack for public speaking. <laughs> in eighth grade I got the best writer award during the award ceremony so that was pretty cool. A poem that I wrote in freshman year of high school was accepted to be published in a book. Sophomore year of college, I got voted um, by the professors to get a scholarship for psychology for one, being one of the top students. So what does all of this mean? I think that it means that whatever I enjoy and put all of my time and energy into, I succeed at. My least favorite subject in school was math and that greatly reflected in my grades because I was typically a straight A student but when I took uh, pre-calculus, I got a D. So I got my first job when I was 17 and it was at a coffee shop. And that's actually the same coffee shop where I ended up becoming the manager, but that wasn't until five years later. I loved being a barista, but while I was at work, 
I would always just be thinking about what I could be creating at home art-wise. My favorite thing to do as a barista was to create latte art. And also I was in charge of redoing the special boards, which was my favorite thing because I got to do calligraphy and then I would draw little um, things around the edges. Being a barista was definitely very draining because I had to go to work at like 4.30 a.m. It was a very active job where I was on my feet all day on the concrete floor. And even with like good shoes, it was still really hard on my body, especially because I do have a slight curve in my back. And so if I stand for long periods of time or sit for long periods of time, I end up being in a lot of pain. So back to when I was young, I had an insane amount of imaginary friends, one of which was a leprechaun named Leppy who would sit on my finger. So I would just walk around like this, pretending that Leppy was sitting on my finger. I also gave names to everything. So for example, in third grade, I had a tetherball that I played with every recess because I didn't have any friends and I preferred this tetherball. His name was Henry. And then in sixth grade, I had a, there was a fallen down tree at my parents' house. And every day after school, I would go sit on this tree and talk to it. And its name was Medusa. I also had over 50 stuffed animals. When I was little, I was also obsessed with the camera. I started using the camera first when I was probably eight years old. Very terrible quality videos, but I loved to talk to the camera and dance and just act like a maniac. So my childhood best friend was a teddy bear named Rainbow Teddy. Just say hi and then say your name. Hi, I'm Rainbow Teddy. Funnily enough, I, when I was actually at school around real human beings, I would just be thinking about what I wanted to do when I got home with Rainbow Teddy. I do still have Rainbow Teddy. He sits on a shelf in the office and watches me work every day. Uh, fast forward to present day, I am married. I've been married for almost three years and we actually met each other on Bumble. We do own our house that we live in. We bought it back in 2020. If you've watched my other videos at all, you probably already know this, but I have three cats, Pumpkin, Poppy, and Pigeon. And then we also have one dog. Her name is Abby. I always forget that this exists, so I thought I would show you. This is my birthmark. It's kind of shaped like a smile or um, now that I'm older, I think it's shaped more like a moon because that's what I would like it to be. So my husband and I do not want any children. I have not wanted kids since I was probably 12 years old. When I was dating, I told everybody this because I wanted them to know before anything got serious. So I did tell my husband while we were dating and he was okay with it. So I actually started a YouTube channel when I was I think 11 and the name of my channel was soon to be famous girl because for some reason I thought that I was going to be famous from this YouTube channel. Hi YouTubers, my name's Emma and I am the soon to be famous girl. Obviously none of my videos got over like 20 views um, except for one of them which was a video of me and my friend's feet. That ended up getting about 100 views and then I started getting messages from people asking me to make other videos of my feet and when I told my mom about my success, she told me to take the video down <laughs> um, and I did. I was pretty upset about it though. Um, now that I'm older though, I do realize what was going on there and I'm very glad that I took that video down and then I eventually also just deleted my whole channel. I have always wanted to be a YouTuber. I've just always been too scared until recently where I decided to just go for it. And um, I told myself that it would just become easier with time. And I have always very, very much enjoyed making videos. I've made a lot of music videos and just fun little skits over the years in high school and such. So it's right up my alley of what I like to do. Sometimes it's hard to post on YouTube because I think why in the world would anybody want to listen to me talk? But, you know, surprisingly, I actually spend quite a bit of time on YouTube listening to other people talk. So I'm like, if I like listening to these people talk, why wouldn't some people out there like to listen to me talk, right? This perfume is scented like dragon's blood. 
Okay, I think I'm done with my hair and makeup. So now I just need to figure out what to wear. For clothes, I was thinking of wearing this kind of uh, tie top. I don't know if I need to wear a shirt underneath it. I'm just gonna try it on to see what I think. I was thinking about wearing this black skirt with it and then probably just some black tights and my combat boots. I always do this where I'll wear some little shorts underneath my skirt that has pockets and then I can put my phone and my keys and whatnot in here um, and then have my skirt over it so that I don't have to worry about carrying a purse. I think it looks cute. All right, it's time to pick out some jewelry. So I think I might wear uh, my crystal necklace but I'm not sure which crystal I want to put in the basket. And then I have to choose between my moon necklace and my Hamza hand necklace. For rings, I thought I should probably put on my wedding ring. Um, my husband and I do not wear our wedding rings ever. They're just in the way and neither of us want to wear them, so we just don't. Um, it is too big for my ring finger, so I always wear it on my pointer finger. And then I have this other ring with some little, uh, crystals on it that I wear on my ring finger <laughs> so that people will know that I'm married. I decided with rose quartz. Fun fact, this is actually the necklace that I wore to my wedding. For bracelets, I think I'm just gonna wear my chakra bracelet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and if you have any more questions about my art or maybe me specifically you can just comment them down below and I will get back to you.